So here we are in Portugal, just coming out of our apartment, which we got out to about 11.30 last night. We were quite delayed, not actually as long as we were expected to be delayed in terms of the in terms of the actual flight, about an hour and a half delayed in the end. But then it took us a long, long time to get through immigration. And uh, we couldn't go through the machine readable passport section because if you had children with you under 18 years of age, then you had to go through a manual section and the queue for that was absolutely enormous. So that was a little bit of a, a hiccup. But we're here this morning, Kirsty's been out, we had croissants and yogurt for breakfast and we're on our way to get a bus or a tram to do a walking tour somewhere. So it should be good. Oh, and it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Look at the complicated tram line interchange here. And there's the tracks. So it's now quarter past 12 and plans have changed somewhat since when we set off a little bit earlier. We got on the tram to go to the other side of Lisbon um, and then we got about five or six stops down and Kirsty realised that we got on the wrong tram and we're going in the wrong direction. So this is where we are at the waterfront heading towards some monuments. It's a little bit unclear to me as what we're doing. Um, after much discussion I'm still not much the wiser. So anyway, we're going down here to this huge monument that you can see down there. Um, and I think there's maybe a museum or something else down here so we're going to do that which is something we planned for a different day not today but um, we've kind of missed the walking tour tour that we were going to do um, because we got on the wrong tram so anyway let's see what's down this way bit of a marina here along the water's edge like most European marinas behind a fence this is the other side of the yacht club building where the actual marina is I guess that the other part was the yard with the inlet there, nice well, very nice. And here it all is. And if you look at the marks on the side of the marina, it looks like the tide here is a good two to three meters on a regular basis, maybe a bit more. Certain states the tide. The moon's pretty full at the moment, so I bet we've got pretty big tides at the moment. That's where we're heading that monument. This is the monument, which is pretty big. So apparently this is a monument to Vasco da Gama and Portuguese who explored the new world. It's pretty big. Looking forward, I guess. And this is the other side, not exactly in the sun, so a little bit harder to see. I think they're all different figures on this side. Big old thing. I'm going to visit the top of the tower, bottom top of the monument, see what the views we can see from there. 56 meters up. So we're at the top of the tower, and this is the Ballum area that we are close to. I haven't been to any of that area yet. Are we going to go to that tower in the distance there? see a funny little tour boat that looks like a bus, looks like a floating bus. And that's where we've just walked just now. Let's have a look over the edge. I don't want to let go of my phone. And where we're staying it's right in there somewhere, right close to that bridge in that area, somewhere over there. And that bridge must be at least as high as where we are. Reminds me of being up the Eiffel Tower a little bit. Not quite as high as that, but a little bit. So 
we've been up to see the view from the top of the tower. Maisie's going to take the elevator back down and we're going to walk down the steps. 200 and how many steps? 56, I think. 256. It was. We might regret it. Here we go. So we're uh, down from the tower now. The tower was pretty excellent. It was 10 euros each and 5 euros for Maisie. And downstairs in the tower was an exhibition on photography, predominantly a photography of black people and how they'd used photography and how it recorded the diaspora of black people coming into and going out of Portugal. Um, that was pretty interesting. Uh, got some nice photos from there, so now we're just having a walk around. It's all good so far. And just a little reminder of where we just were, right at the very top of that. You can just see someone's arm up there now. Um, but there's a very high wall up there, so you can't, it's not very easy to jump over or fall over by accident. Even Kirsty went up there, but she didn't look over the edge. We just had lunch here at this Mexican restaurant, and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, Maisie had a burrito and a couple of iced teas, and uh, me and Kirsty had a couple of large beers, and some soft tacos and churros, which was, uh, was really, really good. I mean, maybe we should be eating the Portuguese food, which probably we will be later, but it was very, very good. This is the food trip. We've just had lunch if you end up down this way. Lost El Rey. Very good. I think this is in the memory of a plane that did one of the first transatlantic navigations by air. And this is the Bellum Tower, something we've come to have a look at. We're not quite sure anything about it yet, so maybe we'll find out in a minute. And this is a model of it. Still none the wiser because that little model had a description but and in English but you couldn't really read it. And this is the memorial of foreign combatants to co to memorialise those soldiers and airmen and seamen who have represented their motherland overseas. Supposedly the central aspect of this is it's um, designed to offset the coldness of the geometry and the water is to symbolise the distance between the combatants when they're abroad in foreign theatres of war from their families and their homes. And then in the centre is the flame of the nation. And obviously you can see in the background surrounded by the names of presumably soldiers and other forces personnel who've lost their lives over the years. Monastery. Tea de Nate, which are traditional like egg custard type things. You gonna try one? I'd like to see Kirsty eat that. <laughs> Any time. Is it good? It's custard, there you go, you've seen it now, Kirsty's it. eating it. Do you like it, Mez? Get them big queues all day long. Most of the places where we're staying or near where we're staying are these structures with tile fronts and little pretend balconies. Some of the rooms at the very, very top, like the penthouse rooms, have got actual balconies. That one's got a little olive tree growing out of it. <laughs> 